Welcome back, YouTubers. Uh, so, got my gun loosened up and ready to go here. Um, the reason I'm gonna paint this gun is just for basically making camouflage on the weapon to make it look better. Um, it takes the shininess out of it and it makes it a lot um, duller in the wood so it won't stick out like a sore thumb when you're sitting there trying to be sneaky. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do <coughs> is go grab some fern and you can find them everywhere, <laughs> out in the woods everywhere. Um, and basically you just take the stock off the weapon and uh, lightly spray it until you start seeing that fern pattern poking out in your gun. And then let it dry, clear coat it, put it all back together. It's that simple. So uh, I'll go find some fern and uh, let's get started. Be right back. Okay, so when you found some fern, just lay it over it like that and spray it. But first off, there's a couple things I don't like. <laughs> I'm going to modify the gun a little bit, which normal people don't like, but it's okay. If it's your gun, it's your gun, <laughs> right? So when I send it to you, I'm not going to see that that edge is very sharp. And I like to, a gun to be smooth, no hard edges. That's a hard edge. So I'm just going to take some sandpaper and lightly just hit it right on the corner. Just take that hard edge off, make it smoother feeling before I go ahead and paint it. You don't want to try to hit any other part of the gun really, because then you'll scratch it. You don't want to do that. So you got to be very careful when you're doing this. Not to hit the other part of the gun. Like, see I nicked it there just a little bit. Hopefully that comes out, but we'll see. I'm going to take the end of this here. A little bit very gently I'm being very ginger about not touching any other part of the gun. Just the outsides. And it makes it feel better. So we'll wipe that. And then we we'll wipe it. We'll go ahead and Wipe it with some uh, rubbing alcohol. So basically, just fold the rag up into a square, basically, or whatever size you want. And then you just pour some rubbing alcohol on the rag and wipe the gun down. And it gets it prepped. It preps the surface so that the paint sticks. Now, I use special paint for this that Krylon puts out. It's cheap paint, so I, that's why I use it, but um, I use two certain types to um, get it to stick to plastic, because I've only found two that work. Rust-Oleum's not bad, but I like Crowlin better. And of course, I stripped the gun down, so um, it's just the stock. So now that it's prepped, get that out of the front. Now you're going to want to move everything out of the way, so that you don't paint anything. <laughs> that you don't want to paint. And then you basically, you just start kind of laying the ferns where you want the fern pattern to be. And I like using like open ferns because it's still letting the black come out in it, but it's not like covering it up. So I'm just going to lay fern across it. I kind of like it like that for where you're going to be holding it. Just gives it a better look. Or we could, better yet, let's go this way. Like this way. So set it like that. And I'll set this one. You're basically just trying to cover the gun. That's all you're doing with the fern. So the fern's going to block the paint from reaching the gun and we'll give it a type of a pattern. I like to mash them down just a little bit onto the gun so you get a nice flat picture on the gun. Shake the can up a little bit. Check for any spots that you need to cover to so make the match. So I'm going to let that be. 
range, but you want your fern to be laying as flat as possible on the ground for this to work right. So it's just gingerly flat. You're not going to want to just spray it. You just, you're going to hold the can away from it quite a ways, and you're just going to touch it. So this is a different color. I'm not used to this color, so let's see what it does here. Should be good for the color. Yep, there's the, see the pattern. Now, if I really want it to be brought out, just lay one section on there for the leaves, like so. Just hit it closer. To really bring the pattern out. See that? I might do it back here too, just because it looks nice. Yeah. That's kind of your fern camo, and I'll let that dry. I'll flip it over. This stuff dries fairly quickly, so it shouldn't take too long to dry, and then I flip it. If you can hear me over these annoying crows, as you can see why I'm getting the pellet gun. <laughs> uh, crow season opens up in October here, so I'll be taking full benefit of that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let this dry for a sec. We'll flip it over. Let's see if it's dry yet, because this stuff's really quick. Yeah, see, it's already starting to set up. See that? Nothing. So I can probably, yep, I can flip it over already and do the other side. So I want to run them the same way again, down the stock of it. The last one, I really couldn't see the fern so much. So I'm really trying to get the fern to come out more. I mean, I don't mind it. It still does its job. But I like to see that fern pattern come out just a little more. And it's sticky now, so it's trickier to deal with. When to get it on that. <laughs> Let's try for a sec here. Really. one spot. Oh, that's not coming out too well on that side. Let's see if we can get it. I think you're supposed to wet these down first or something. I can't quite remember. It's been a while. I did it like three years ago. So, ah, there's there's some of it. So it gives it a little accent. I don't know. It looks nice. Either way, it doesn't really look like fern other than this section here. But it still looks good. And it's an easy way to do it. And it's, you know, ferns are out in your backyard. What I used was Krylon Color Max paint primer. And a satin olive color. And, uh. Bear with me for one more second here, we'll let this dry. And I can, uh, yeah, I can pick it up. 
be a close up of uh, what it looks like. I'm on camera. I don't know if you can see that or not. But now I'm going to go ahead and hit it with two coats of clear. And that's what protects your paint job from getting super messed up. Oh, I just have some on there. But, uh, this is what I'm using for clear coat, and I know this stuff works very well for this. Um, crystal clear acrylic, and I like to flat because it's not super glossy for hunting, and it's clear. And that stuff sticks to plastic, and it covers it good, and it will not chip, scratch, nothing, unless, you know, <laughs> you're overbearing with it. But So, I will uh, give you a little video of um, clear coat, and it's just as soon as this stuff sets up, you're supposed to give it like half an hour, so I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, by the way, <laughs> while, that's, uh, while that's drying, let me, uh, let me show you something. What I've been using is this tripod here. And I bought this at a second-hand store, <laughs> and it was in a box, you know, and it was, the box was tattered, but this was, like, brand new still, so I just picked it up. It was, like, $8 for this one, and I just went and got some Krylon paint and painted it. If you can see that, it's green, you know, it'll just kind of knock the shape of the tripod away from the animals so they can't see it. It won't leave a silhouette. And basically, I just kind of jerry-rigged a phone case on there. I cut the phone case out so it'll fit, and I can see the screen while I'm recording. And this one's my shooting one that I use off of my pellet gun. This is one I sight them in with. See how much more girthier that one is? So this is my sight-in one. And on the top of it, I have a uh, head from a shooting stick on there, and it's rubber, which helps with... Uh, the action of the pellet guns because you just set the barrel on there and it can slide back and forth all at once and it won't bother it at all. Some spring rifles don't like that but the nitro pistons are alright for it. So I figured I'd show you that and I'll show you the gun while it's drying. There's the, uh, that's what it's looking like so far. It's starting to dry up and starting to turn a good color. Now I gotta wipe it back down afterwards because it'll have this like white finish haze kind of thing on it you can see it right there so basically just a little bath afterwards will take care of that but yeah that's basically what it's looking like on the other side there I don't know if you can see that real well the lighting's not the best out here but yeah so um, after it's done I'll wipe it down and uh, Put it all back together and let you see what it looks like once back together. Alright, we'll see you then.